All right, today's video, we're gonna pick up from where we left off. We're gonna perform some more hacking with the uh, Flipper Zero. So for today's video, we're going to look at tracking, uh, hacking Wi-Fi passwords with the Flipper Zero and Hashcat. I will make note uh, just from the last video, uh, I know we went through obtaining credentials. There is a such thing as credential stuffing and that's actually where hackers will use those credentials and try those credentials at several different services, apps, or websites because a lot of people reuse their passwords. All right, so this hack is mostly, I believe, for the 2.4 gigahertz. Now, when I say that, a lot of people might say that the 5.0 gigahertz is the new norm, but that's not the case. There's so many IoT devices that are using 2.4 gigahertz also, the 2.4 gigahertz range reaches further. So with that, let's get into it. So first, I'm going to work from my desktop now. Uh, it seems like it's easier to see this way. So first, let's go to apps, GPIO, and let's find Wi-Fi Marauder. From here, we're going to scan for access points. We're going to give this a little bit of time to scan. Click the uh, back button. From here, we're going to list the access points. And if you notice, my network is open WRT, and that selection is zero. So let's select that access point. You'll type in zero and then click save. And then use the back button to go back to that main screen. All right, from here, we're going to go down to save to flipper SD card. Uh, let's make sure that that is enabled. So click yes, yes, and go back up to sniff. Right, we're going to set this to PK or PMK ID, and then we're going to click Targeted Active List. All right, we're going to let this run. We're going to let this cook for a little bit. Uh, I would suggest probably five minutes. All right, we're going to click back now, and we're going to retrieve that PCAT file that was just saved after our scanning. Go to Apps Data, Marauder, PCAPs. Let's go ahead and down that, download that file. Save it to desktop. All right, from here we're going to need to uh, download Wireshark to read that file. So I'll provide these links in the video. Just go to whichever installer you need, download that and install it. It's a pretty straightforward walkthrough. All right, I already have this installed, so let's just go ahead and open up the file. We're going to search for EAPOL. Click Enter. From here, we need to save that file, so go down to Save As. Let's save it to the desktop so we're not chasing that in the downloads or wherever in the hell it saves that. Uh, I'm going to name it Hash. Click Save. Right, from here we're, we're going to need to uh, convert that file that we just saved. We need it to convert it to a format that Hashcat uh, can understand. So I'll provide this link as well. So you'll take the, uh, you'll select that file and then you'll click convert. And then it'll offer you a download. Let's go ahead and rename that file to hash just so it's not so complicated. Save it to desktop again. And we're done with that. Let's go ahead and throw that away. All right, from here, we need to download Hashcat itself. 
So I'll provide this link. You'll download it. It's a zip file. I suggest putting it on your C drive, your main C drive. Put that zip file there, unzip it, and then delete the zip file. Should be uh, pretty straightforward there. But we're going to have to use the command line to run Hashcat. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. And let's move that out of the way. All right, the next piece, this will be, uh, I guess, as a rundown. So Hashcat you can use is used for cracking passwords. It can it can crack hash passwords. It can use a dictionary attack, a combination attack, which is a dictionary attack, uh, along with uh, adding other characters. It can do mask attack. So we're doing the dictionary attack. Um, and then here we have the uh, password list. This is out on the GitHub. Uh, this is a great um, source for passwords in general like look at this one that's 10 million passwords so that's a good list to start with to see if you can pa uh, crack the uh, the Wi-Fi passwords we're going to download that zip or I've already done that you'll just extract it after you're done downloading uh, you'll select one of those password files whichever one that you think that you know might have the password for that Wi-Fi it's a guessing game at that point, but eventually you'll find it. All right, so we're going to move the hash file that we converted to that folder, uh, that Hashcat folder that's under the C drive in my, in my case. This will make it easier when we use the command line. Um, so now this is where you would select whichever password file you want to try first in my case i've already moved over one that's called adobe 100 my password to my wi-fi is actually in that file so it will uh, find that find my password as you can see here on the right uh, here's a preview of it there's all kinds of different passwords in there and that's what hashcat will run through compare it to the HC22000 file and see if there's a match. All right, from here, we're going to go to the command prompt. Uh, let's change the directory to the main directory, the C drive. Uh, let's go to Hashcat folder. You're going to run uh, this command with the file names that, that you have. All right, we're going to use the hashcat.exe, if you notice that's within the C drive, we're going to use this parameter, dash M22000, the name of the converted file, the hash.hc22000, and then the name of the password list. As you can see here, it's cracked, and that's all there is to it. So once again, I'm not your mama, I'm not your attorney, and I'm not your conscience. This is for educational purposes and use this information however you see fit. Thank you.